good. I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri and today I will be giving you guys this story time which I've been asking about since I did my TMI tag, I think. Yeah, because that's when I first mentioned it. And ever since, people just been asking me, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? You going to tell about the fight? You going to tell about the fight? You going to tell me about the fight? I'm going to tell y'all about the fight today, okay? If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you enjoy it. And so let's just hop right into the story time. <laughs> okay, so it all started off, this happened in middle school. Let's just go ahead and make this clear. I'm about to be a junior now. This happened in middle school. It started, um, where do I start? Where do I start? Okay, so I was best friends with two other females. We're going to call them pink and purple and I'm keeping our identity um anonymous for very obvious reasons <laughs> so yeah so me pink and purple we was like the best of friends we was so tight we even had a girl group like we used to be singing and dancing and rapping we thought we was the OMG girls but we was like the best of friends we hung out almost like every day right so all throughout middle school I was a cheerleader sixth grade I was a cheerleader a regular cheerleader seventh grade I was the co-captain and boom eighth grade starts yeah so basically when you're the co-captain you're preparing to be the captain so you're under the actual captain who is probably in the eighth grade and the co-captain is always in the seventh grade and so you're watching everything that they do you're basically shadowing them so that next year when they're gone you're prepared to be the captain right so eighth grade starts this had to be the first month of school it had to be somewhere in there so this started real real early i'm talking about real early so this year this had never happened to me before I've never seen it before. They made me, the co-captain, try out, full out, like I was a regular cheerleader for the team like everybody else. But I, I wasn't tripping. I was cool because I'm thinking, I got this in the bag. You get what I'm saying? I'm the co-captain. I'm going to be the captain. It's whatever. I try out, whatever. So tryouts come. I try out. Me, Pink, and Purple still the best of friends. We all try out. Purple's mom is one of the, um, she is one of the judges at tryouts, right? So I didn't think nothing of it because, like I said, um... We were all the best of friends. It comes the day where it's time to announce who all made the cheerleading team. And I'm late to school. They normally, like, would announce it on the morning announcement. So, I'm lit. Like, I'm waiting for Pink to call me and tell me, like, what's up? Like, who made the team? I just want to see who made the team because I already know I made the team. And I know I'm the captain for sure. I think Pink called me or something like that. Or Pink. Pink or somebody called me. I was like, so who made the team? Um, they was telling me. Da, da, da. So, I was like, okay, so who the captain is? And she was like, um, purple is the captain. How is purple the captain? I was just the co-captain. That don't it don't work like that. You get what I'm saying? So at this moment, I'm hot. I'm I'm like I'm on ugh, 38 hot. Actually, I was not 38 hot. I was 39, 40, 41, 42, 43 hot. Okay, that's just how hot I was. So I'm on the way to school. I'm riding to school. I'm just I'm like, okay. Something fishy about this. Ain't no way your mama is one of the judges at tryouts and you became the captain. I, I got bumped down completely to a regular cheerleader. That had never happened the years before. And I had been a cheerleader for two years before that. That had never happened, ever. I'm riding to school, I'm hot or whatever, but if you know anything about me, when I'm hot, I'm calm. I'm very calm. Like, I'm... I'm just, I'm just chilling, okay? So, I walk in school. I got my first class with pink and purple. And I walk in class and everybody, I guess, is waiting for me because they know that I'm finna feel some type of way about the fact that I'm not the captain because everybody knows that I'm supposed to be the captain. So, <laughs> I walk into the classroom and I walk up to purple's desk and I was like, congratulations, but that's some BS. And of course, I didn't say BS. I said the actual word. So, at that moment, everybody was shocked. They was like, oh, like... 
okay <laughs> and she was even shocked herself because i guess that's not what she wanted me to say or that's not what she was expecting me to say or whatever whatever but i just felt like personally and still to this day i feel like it was just shady like something was shady about that tryout and like that's just not how it's supposed to be and everybody knows that from that day from that day me and purple were not cool not cool she started distancing herself i started distancing myself from that day we were not cool me and pink were still tight and pink i guess she took my side and she wasn't cool with um purple either so like i said before we were all best friends at first when you're friends with somebody they have friends that they had before you and so when we all became friends those friends were now my friends her friends were now my friends so when we fell out her friends that i met through her we ain't cool no more like you get what i'm saying so from that moment on, I wasn't cool with Purple or her little posse. Two particular girls from her little posse, we're gonna call them Toilet Paper and Pepper Towel. Don't ask me why, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with names that I feel like I can remember. Yeah, um, I was never too fond of Paper Towel, even when me and Purple was cool, but it was cordial because that was her friend. Me and Toilet Paper, we was actually cool. We wasn't friends, but we was cool associates. You get what I'm saying? So once we fell out, like I said, we was not cool at all no more. So I'm just going to tell y'all like the events leading up to this big fight because I don't remember like the exact order of the events because I got bad memory. But I just know they all happened and this is what led up to the fight. First one I remember is I had a boyfriend in middle school. Um, we're not going to say his name because he doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I had my boyfriend hand and I was dragging him to my class so that he can walk me to class. So Paper Towel who called herself his twin which is basically like another name for his best friend i didn't really care because i mean i'm not no insecure type of person i'm still not to this day i don't care if my boyfriends have friends or whatever like that as long as they don't cross the line so i wasn't tripping about her being his twin but this particular day let me tell y'all what this twin did so i got my boyfriend hand and i'm walking to cut paper towel grabs my boyfriend's other hand and start pulling him the opposite way so I politely let go of my boyfriend's hand, walked over to her where she had his hand at, and I politely picked up her hand and moved it. That's all it was. I don't remember no words being exchanged. I don't think. And even if it was, it wasn't nothing big. So after I moved her hand, I grabbed his other hand again, and we walked off. So that was something that happened that was that started boiling the pot. You know, the pot is getting a little... It's getting a little toasty now. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> so another event that happened is like in the hallway while we were switching classes, paper towel and toilet paper, they would like bump. They would bump me and pink. And like it just became a thing like in the hallway. We used to bump each other. It was so childish. But it happened and we used to bump each other. And so that was another thing. It was just stirring up the pot. So then this when the pot start, you know, the top on the pot start jumping. Oh, Jesus still made me mad. So... Me and Pink and Purple in the beginning of the year before we fell out, we used to all do the morning announcements. And of course, when me, Pink, and Purple fell out, um, it was just me and Pink doing the announcements. So we used to do the announcements every morning. Nobody else in the school ever wanted to do it. It was just a thing that we used to do. We just, I don't know, we found interest in it. So one day, we go up there to do the morning announcements. Guess who up there? Toilet paper and paper towel. So I'm hot. I'm mad. Like I'm I'm just like why are they why they keep coming for us? Like like they really trying to get our attention. Like they really trying to get us to do something. And I'm just like like what's up? Like what's good? I'm mad now. And the lady who's over like the office or whatever, like the secretary for the office, she was just telling us to let it go. So we let it go. And we let them have the announcements completely. I told Pink, that's it. They can have it. If they want it so bad, they can have it. So boom. Me and Pink, we started putting up the flag and taking down the flag. We used to put up the flag in the morning and take it down in the afternoon. So, I guess we want to start taking down and putting up the flag, paper towel, and toilet paper. So, we let them have that too. Because at this point, I'm just like, okay, they doing all this little stuff. And I, I mean, I just don't understand. If y'all really beefing that hard, like it, like it ain't that deep. Like you get what I'm saying? It ain't that deep. So carpool area in my middle school is like right by the flagpole. So like if you're getting picked up or dropped off, the flagpole is right there. So me and Pink, we used to ride home with each other. And her sister was the driver. She was a teenager at the time. So she was, she was with all the drama. So we right there by the flagpole. And I 
let down the window and I bust out laughing because it's funny that y'all out here taking down his flag trying to prove a point and it's hot as I don't know what and y'all look crazy so I roll down the window and I laugh right and I think they ended up saying like something like what you laughing at or something like that some lame Hank ended up saying you b word or something like that I remember her calling him a b word so we leave and <laughs> so they get on snapchat popping Pink and Keisha gonna get beat up tomorrow. We gonna beat them up tomorrow. Da, 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 da. I'm like, they ain't talk about nothing. At this point in time in the school year, so many people had beef with us, didn't like us, and wanted to fight us, and said that they was gonna fight us, and it never happened. So I'm just like, they popping just like everybody else. They just popping, they just popping, they just popping, right? The next day we get to school. So that same class that I told Purple that, um, Congratulations, that's some BS. That's the same class that we was in. And like I said before, me, Pink, and Purple was all in there together. So Purple, who we're no longer cool with, she in the back of the class. I'm talking about talking that hot stuff. She's talking that hot stuff. They finna get beat up. They finna do this. They finna do that. They finna do this. And blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, Pink, we not finna sit here and listen to that. I mean, if there's gonna be a fight, there's gonna be a fight. But we're not finna sit here and pop with nobody. You get what I'm saying? So it's time to switch at this point. So... Our desk is right there by the door. I'm just trying to paint this picture for y'all so that y'all can understand that this was pre-planned. So our desk is right there by the door. As soon as we open up the door, the bell just rung. It's about five or six girls lined up around the door, ready, ready for us, right? So Pink is first. She's first, and then I'm after her. So it's the bathroom right across from the classroom that we were in. And Pink, she walked straight in the bathroom. Don't even care about the girls. She just walked straight in the bathroom. So of course, all the girls follow Pink into the bathroom. And I go into the bathroom. And they arguing. Da, 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 da. And like I said before, I'm not with all the popping. So I just grab Pink hand and I walk her out of the bathroom. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Oh, and among them um, five girls was toilet paper and paper towel. <sighs> so we're walking down the hallway. And toilet paper and paper towel is on both sides of me but i got my pink purse i still got this pink purse to this day hold up let me show y'all so i got my pink purse right here right okay just just to show y'all where it was and i also got my cheer bag and i also got my book bag right so they bumping me back and forth back and forth because they know i can't do nothing right now because i'm physically not able to do anything so i step drop my stuff and say ain't nobody gonna touch me so at this point paper towel and toilet paper is being held back by uh, somebody i don't know and they disappear and to this day i do not know where toilet paper and paper towel went they disappear and pink is now arguing with somebody who had nothing nothing to do with the fight in the first place at this point, I'm really confused, but I'm so hot because of what just happened. I'm not even, I don't even care at this point. So she arguing, she arguing. So I pick up my stuff by now, and I got her, and we walking back to class. So they still arguing, and the girl who she arguing with, she being held back by, let's call this girl Gold. And the girl that Pink is arguing with, let's call her Cream. So Cream is being held back by Gold, and Pink is arguing with Cream. At this point, I'm just hot. I'm just mad. So we walk and we walk and we walk. She's still arguing with this girl. And so I walk to the classroom first. I'm thinking that she's behind me, right? So I get in the classroom. And I'm literally in the classroom about a good five seconds. And I'm just so mad. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just so mad. And I sit my stuff down, right? And I look back. And Pink is fighting Cream. So I, I immediately run. And then another friend who was in that classroom already, she got up too because she was one of our friends and she was one of them ride or die friends. She don't care what to fight about. She don't care who you fight. She don't care. If you in it, she in it too. So she run and she starts fighting gold and I start fighting gold with her. So me and her is fighting gold and pink is fighting cream. I just I just remember being tackled by the teacher and that was the end of the fight. Pink ended up getting hurt really, really bad. It wasn't nothing wrong with me. The friend who decided to jump into the fight with us, it was nothing really wrong with her either. But me and pink are not cool to this day but guess what pink and purple are back cool <sighs> so yeah that's the story of my first fight i just want to make it clear that it's no beef with these girls i'm going into my junior year this was eighth grade i don't even know them girls no more i know that i'm a completely different person now and i know they probably completely different people now i hope you guys really enjoyed this story time if you did please do not forget to thumbs this video up and also hit that subscribe button because i'm lit my cash baby's lit and if you subscribe then you can be lit too period i'll see you guys in my next video bye I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you're looking very well.